Hello traders and welcome back to this channel. Powerful trading opportunity to enter the trade using price action. In trending market, the price is going through lots of pullback while going strongly upward or downward in one direction. Traders normally use these pullback to enter the trade and make a good profit. Since the price trend never continue in one direction forever, and eventually reverses into new trend through an amazing phenomenon called breaking of a structure. Traders can also use this strategy to enter or exit the trade. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to enter the trade successfully in a strong uptrend or in a strong downtrend and breaking of the structure into new trend direction through an amazing clear picture of price movement and price action. So please stay tuned to the end of this video. Buy and sell signal in a strong uptrend. This is the price trend ER of stock D1 time frame of finance. In a trending market, the price always making higher swing high and the pullback is making higher swing low. If you look at this, this price trend carefully, you see each higher swing high is higher than the previous one. This is higher than the previous one. And the same thing, this is higher than the previous one. And each higher swing low is again higher than the previous one. This is higher than the previous one. So, and this higher swing high is bigger or longer than higher swing low. This is longer than higher swing low. This is the same thing. That is the second characteristics. And the third characteristic is the higher swing high, we have more bullish candle. And then the higher swing low, we have more bearish candle. Same thing here. Same thing here. We have more bullish candle. And here we have more bearish candle. Now, this is the third characteristic. The fourth one is as we go up, you see the, the pullback, the bearish candles, they become bigger and bigger and bigger. And finally, when we come to the top, they are really big strong candles whereas the the bullish candles they are becoming small as you approaches to the top the red candles become bigger and the green candles become smaller showing the bulls lose their confidence to push the price higher and the sellers are step in to push the price lower this is the characteristics of a strong uptrend. And these are the buy and sell signal. Now, if you want to enter the trade, all you have to do is go to one step lower time frame and you find patterns and formations, or you can use candlestick map blending in where you have buy signal. And you can enter the trade, for example, here, 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 you can enter the trade. If you find pattern and formations, like for example, here, you, can, you see a strong hammer. Here, you see a strong hammer. So that is the sign that you can enter the trade. And put your st stop loss below the entry price, maybe one or two ATR. And the same thing where you have the exit, where you have the sell signal here, 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 then you can use again pattern and formations like shooting a star, bearish engulfing, evening a star, uh, which this, that is the sign that the, the sellers are in control. You can exit the trade and put your stop loss above the entry price, one or two ATR. So that's how you enter or exit the trade in a strong uptrend. Buy and sell signal in a strong uptrend using moving average. This is the price trend ER of stock D1 time frame. 
The second way to find to find out a strong uptrend is by using the proper short-term moving average in such a way that the price must be above the simple moving average with more touches. I have so many videos that show you how to choose the proper moving average that respect the price movement. In this graph, I use SMA 50 as a fast moving average with almost seven to eight touches, and also SMA 100 as slow moving average. And since the, the price is above the SMA 50, and both of them, the price and the SMA 50, are above the SMA 100, then this price trend characterized as a strong uptrend, and these are the buy signals. If you are a short-term trader and want to enter the trade, it's so easy. You can go to one step lower time frame and then look for places that the price come close to the moving average, that all these points that are indicated with buy signal, and look for price rejection using pattern and formations or candlestick map blending to find the precise entry location and put your stop loss maybe one or two ATR below the dynamic support SMA 50. To exit the trade, you can exit the trade when the price distance from the moving average, like here, like here, like here, distance from moving average or break the support. For example, the price come here and break the support and going down. So you can exit the trade. And you can exit the trade and put your stop loss maybe one or two ATR above the exit point. Now, if you are a long positioning trader, you can enter the trade in these locations where the price come close to the SMA 50 and stay as long as the price is above the SMA 100. So that is exactly how you enter the trade as a long positioning trader. So basically this is how you use buy and sell signal in a strong uptrend using moving average. Buy and sell signal using trend line in a strong uptrend. This is the price trend, the same price trend and I install trend line with six touches to be valid. This is the third way to find out a strong uptrend by using trend line. In this graph, you see the prices above the trend line and the trend line is a sloping upward. So this is the characteristics of a strong uptrend. And here, the trend line act as dynamic support. When the price come close to the trend line or dynamic support, it generate buy signal and these are the buy signals. To enter the trade, it's so easy again. Go to one step lower time frame, find places that the price come close to the dynamic support and look for price rejection using pattern and formation or candlestick map blending to find your precise entry trigger and put your stop loss maybe one or two ATR below the dynamic trend line or dynamic support. So you can combine these three techniques that I explained to find a strong uptrend and use them to enter or exit the trade successfully and make profit with low risk. 
Buy and sell signal in a strong downtrend. This is the price trend. CL crude oil stock, the one time frame in a trending market. The price is always making lower swing low, whereas the pullback is making lower swing high all the way down. If you look at this price trend, you see each lower swing low is lower than the previous one. This is lower than previous one all the way. And each lower swing high is lower than the previous one. This is lower than previous one. This is lower than previous one. So this is the characteristics of a strong downtrend. And these are buy and sell signals. To enter or exit the trade, again, it's so easy. You can go to one step lower time frame and use pattern and formation or candlestick map blending to find the trigger point to enter or exit the trade. To enter the trade against the trend direction require lots of price action knowledge. And I always advise and strongly recommend my viewers to avoid to enter the trade against the direction of the trend if you are not prepared to do so. It is the same as swimmer that want to swim against the direction of the flow. It is hard and difficult and need lots of expertise. I have so many videos on this issue as well. Please view them before to enter the trade. You can also use moving average or trend line to find your entry signal, as I explained clearly in a strong uptrend. Buy signal using break of structure into new uptrend. Break of structure is a trend reversal that you see in most strong trending market. In this demo example, you are going to see a strong downtrend into new uptrend reversal, and I'm going to show you how you enter the trade successfully. In this graph, you see the price is making lower swing low, and the pullback is making lower swing high for downtrend, and also the price is making higher swing high and the pullback is making higher swing low for uptrend. Here you see two horizontal lines with a circle. Let's assume, let's assume the price is in its last pullback. This is the last pullback. If the trend want to continue going, going downward, so the price should never reach the center of the circle or lower swing high. It should be here because this should be lower than this. So it should be before the center of the circle. The price should reverse and come around here and make another lower swing low. If this downtrend want to reverse going upward, the price should continue here past the circle and reverses above this line. Let's assume it reverse here and in this point, it's not going to be another low swing high. It's it is above this, so it's going to be higher swing high, and the pullback is going to be higher swing low, higher swing high, higher swing low, higher swing high. This is the characteristics of a strong uptrend. Now, sometimes the price, as soon as it reverses here, it consolidate here for a while or range for a while, and then it's going up, going to go up. Now, to enter the trade, 
It's so easy. As soon as the price in its last pullback, as soon as the price past the center of the circle or this line, you can enter the trade and put your stop loss one or two ATR below the below the lower soon low. Isn't it amazing? Let's have a real example. Buy signal using break of structure into new uptrend. This is the price trend. CL stock D1 time frame your finance. In this graph, you see a strong downtrend reversal using break of structure into new uptrend. The price here is making lower swing low and the pullback is making lower swing high for downtrend. And also the price is making higher swing high and the pullback is making higher swing low for uptrend. Here you see this horizontal line with the circle. Let's look at the last pullback. This is the last pullback that this is lower swing low and the price continue going here and make lower swing high and reverses. So when it reverses, it is going to go down to make lower swing low. But you see, the price didn't go down all the way down to make lower swing low. Instead, they make, uh, the price makes higher swing low. And it reverses. And it going, it going to go up all the way past the circle and this horizontal line, which is located, this is lower swing high is located here, past the circle and here it reverses. So here the price make, it's not going to make lower swing high anymore. It is because it's higher than here. So it makes higher swing high and then the pullback makes higher swing low and again make high swing high, high swing low, high swing high, that's the characteristics of a strong uptrend. Now, in order to enter the trade, as soon as the price continue and pass this line, this horizontal line or lower swing high, you can enter the trade here, right here at the center of the circle and put your stop loss one or two ATR below the higher swing low. So that is, this is how you enter the trade using break of structure into new uptrend. Buy signal using break of structure into new uptrend. Second example, this is QM stock, D1 time frame, Yo Finance. In this graph, you see a strong downtrend using break of structure into new uptrend. In this, in this graph, the price is making lower swing low and the pullback is making lower swing high for downtrend. And also the price is making higher swing high and the pullback is making higher swing low for uptrend. And this is the horizontal line with the circle. Here after the last pullback, here you see after the last pullback, lower swing low here, the trend go up. And if this downtrend want to continue going downward, so the trend should reverse before this horizontal line. Reverse and come down and make another low swing low here and make lower swing high before, before this line. Because this lower swing high should be lower than this one. Now instead, it continue going up past this 
horizontal line which is lower swing high past the circle and reverses above this line. So at this point, this is not going to be a lower swing high. That is higher swing high because it's higher than this. And the pullback is higher swing low. And again, higher swing high, higher swing low, higher swing high, higher swing low, and higher swing high. So this is the characteristic of a strong uptrend. So in order to enter the trade, it's so easy. As soon as this trend passes this circle, as soon as the center of the circle, it passes the center of the circle, you enter the trade and put your stop loss one or two ATR below the lower swing low. I hope it is clear to all you traders because you will see this trend reversal almost in, in all a strong trending market. Sell signal using break of structure into new downtrend. Break of structure is a trend reversal that you see in most strong trending market. In this demo example, you see a strong uptrend into new downtrend reversal. And here I am going to show you how you exit the trade. Here the price is making higher swing high and the pullback is making high swing low for uptrend and also the price is making lower swing low and the pullback is making lower swing high for downtrend as you and 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 you see these two horizontal lines with a circle let's assume the price is at its last pullback here this high swing high and this is the pullback the price continue going downward if the price want to continue going upward as it was before the price should reverse before this line this horizontal line which is high swing low before here before this line like around here and go up and make another high swing high here but instead, the price continue going down past this horizontal line, which is high swing low, and continue and reverse here. So this point is not going to be high swing low. It is lower than here. So it's lower swing low. And sometimes the price reverses and zigzag and consolidate here and going down and make lower swing low and again lower swing high lower swing low so that is the characteristics of a strong downtrend so now in order to exit the trade is as soon as you see the price come to the center of the circle as soon as come to the center of the circle or pass the center of the circle, you can exit the trade and put your stop loss one or two ATR above the higher high. So that's how you can exit the trade. Isn't it amazing? Let's see a real example. Breaking of structure into new downtrend. This is BB stock D1 time frame of finance. In this graph, you see a strong uptrend reverses into new downtrend. The price is making higher swing high and the pullback is making higher swing low for uptrend. And also it's making lower swing low and the pullback is making lower swing high for downtrend. Here you see this horizontal line with a circle. Let's look at the last, let's look at the last, uh, the last higher swing low pullback, which is right here. The price 
is reversing here, it's coming down and reversing here and going up in order to make another high swing high all the way, it should come here and make another high swing high if this uptrend want to continue. But look what happened. Instead of it going all the way up, it hesitate to go up and reverses right here. So it couldn't make the higher swing high anymore. And instead, it makes lower swing high because this is lower than here. Now, and then reverses and it continue going all the way down past this circle or this horizontal line, which is high swing low and coming down all the way and making lower swing low. And then the pullback makes lower swing high and again lower swing low. And this is the characteristics of a strong downtrend. So to exit the trade, it's so easy. As soon as this, this pullback past this higher swing low, this horizontal line, past this line or the center of the circle, you can exit the trade and put your stop loss, maybe one or two ATR above this lower swing high. So this is how you exit the trade using break of structure into a new downtrend. Sell signal using break of structure into new downtrend. Second example. This is ERF stock D1 time frame your finance. In this graph, you see a strong uptrend reverses into new downtrend. The price is making higher swing high, and the pullback is making higher swing low for uptrend, and also it is making lower swing low and the pullback is making lower swing high for downtrend. This is the horizontal line with a circle. As you see, the last pullback, the last pullback is here, higher swing high and the last pullback. Now, if the price want to continue going higher as it was before, then the price should reverse before this horizontal line, which is higher swing low, before this horizontal line and reverses going upward and make another high swing high here and make above this horizontal line higher swing low but instead it continue going down past this horizontal line this higher swing low past this and the reverse is here and at this point it is not going to be higher swing low it is lower swing low and then it go up and make lower swing high, lower swing low, lower swing high, lower swing low, lower swing high, lower swing low. That is the characteristics of a strong downtrend. So in order to exit the trade, the traders should exit the trade as soon as this pullback past this circle, as soon as past the center of the circle, they should exit the trade and put their stop loss one or two ATR above this higher swing high. I hope you enjoyed this video. Wish all of you a good luck and a good trade. And don't forget to smash the subscriber button. That's all folks. If you like this video, thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Take care and See you next time.